What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the boy Shingi as Yuji. You already know what it is. I'm so excited to be doing this video once again as Yuji. <laughs> okay, for all my new followers that don't know what Yuji means, it's pretty much a way of me saying usual. I love twisting things and like, you know, making things my own. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, welcome back to the channel guys. So um, I just realized that there's no video helping people with doing long exposures on the RB. I got a couple questions on how do you do long exposures? I got today, like right now, I just got a question on how to do a long exposure as I was recording the Q&A that I was promised I was gonna do on Sunday, but I didn't have the time to. But so, so today's video is going to be on how to do long exposures on the Mamiya RB. It, it doesn't have bulb mode like regular cameras where you just hit the thingy, the longer you hold it, the longer the exposures and when you let go, it completely just closes the shutter. So guys, the reason why your long exposures haven't been working is because you're not closing the shutter as you do your long exposure. When the shutter does not close, it will not do the long exposure correctly. This is a leaf shutter, guys, so the, the, the actual shutter is in the lens. That means if you're a studio shooter like me, it's perfect because you can shoot at any shutter speed you like. There's no sync speed or nothing like that. That's why you haven't been able to do long exposures and Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do the long exposures. Um, it's gonna be really fun, quick and easy. It's not as complicated as it seems and I'm just so excited to share this with you guys. Let's get straight to it. Um, so here's the Mamiya RB67. We're gonna switch it off to uh, this mode. We're gonna take the dark slide out and then now we're gonna be able to fire off the shutter as many times as we want which is good so you got your mamiya rb you're trying to do the long exposure you put it onto the timer mode okay timer mode and keep it on normal you don't want to shoot blanks after this the mirror up function is pretty much the function you normally need to use in order to do the long exposure but it doesn't work with the lens and this setup. When I went to the camera store and I talked to these guys on the reason why it didn't work, they said you need a double release. So that's the only way you could use the mirror up function to do the long exposure. And those doubled up cable releases, they're pretty rare. I, they are there actually, they are there. Um, You could pick one up on eBay or something, you definitely could find one. But since we do not have the mirror up function the proper way to do the, the long exposure, we're gonna keep it on normal. So the second way, the way that most people are gonna do and the way most people use with the Mamiya RB67 is to have it on timer and you put in your cable release. Your cable release is still mandatory. You still need a cable release in order to do this. It's very important. You still need one. So guys, if you could take a quick second to give this video a quick thumbs up, I really appreciate it. There's gonna be a little square over here. It should say click here to subscribe. It's pretty small. Hover over that, hit the subscribe button. It's not gonna mess with the video. It's just gonna give me a subscription. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys. Let's go down with the video. Um, this is not a no cable release um, function. Let's screw it in right now with you guys seeing. So we're gonna screw it in and it looks like we're in right now, right? So we're in. So now that you have your cable release attached to the camera, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do the normal cranking. You're ready to take the long exposure. You're on T and with T now, you have it already on your tripod and then you hit your cable release, listen to the, to the camera. And then right now, as you can see, it's still open. The shutter is still open. There's no way of releasing it, right? You're taking your long exposure. Here is the trick. Um, the trick is it won't ruin your picture. This is how everybody does it. This is how I did it. You just take your finger, you're on a tripod, you take your finger, and then you spin your dial to the one second mark, and then it will close the shutter. The problem why your long exposures are not working is because it's not closing the shutter. It's staying open for too long. So now, you're gonna listen to how it's supposed to sound. We're gonna crank it again, and then we're gonna fire off the shutter. It's still open, as you can see, still open. So now when I spin the shuttering, it's gonna close. Take a look at it, spin close you would want it to be closed if it's not closed the long exposure is not gonna work it's just gonna be taking in light so again you you crank it 
just like I did. It's on T mode. And then you fire off. It's still open. It's still taking that long exposure because the shutter is not shut. Now you spin. Boom. It's not gonna ruin your picture. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna do anything. That's the way I, I learned to do long exposures. I just wanna give a quick shout out to my homie Ty. He helped me with this whole thing. He was doing long exposures with the RB. I thought it was simple going in it, just like everybody. I thought it was simple going in it, but it's really not. Shout out to him. He reached out to me before I was supposed to do the long exposures. I tried it by myself. Totally did not work because it is actually complicated. And yeah, so shout out to him. I'm gonna put his link down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped. Follow me on Instagram at shop by Shingy. Follow my website at shopbyshingy.com and follow the brand at shopwaybetterco.com. And as well, if you'd love for me to check out your content and to repost your content potentially, hashtag we photo gods and also follow we photo gods for a feature i really appreciate you guys you guys mean a lot to me thank you guys keep subscribing to the channel it really means a lot i appreciate you guys again <laughs>